know about you, but I love going to flea markets and salvage yards. I get so many new ideas just by walking around, and I always find the most interesting things. It really is an inspiration. For instance, last week, I came across this really cute old door and some vintage milk crates, and I thought, you know, this could be the start to a really charming piece for my entryway. And in one fun weekend, I turned these old forgotten pieces into this. Let me show you how I did it. The first thing I need to do is strip all of my pieces down to the bare wood. You see, I want to stain everything, so it's important that I get a nice clean surface to work with. I'm using a palm sander to get the job done, but depending on how much paint you have, you may need to use a paint stripper first. It's a bit of work, but it's worth it. Now the fun part, picking a stain color. I like Minwax Wood Finish. It comes in 26 different colors. Plus, it's easy to use, goes on nicely, and I'm always happy with the result. I'm going with Jacobean. Let's see how it looks. Now before applying the stain, you'll want to make sure that it's mixed completely. That should do it. Then you'll grab a brush and work in the stain like this. After you're finished, let it sit for a few minutes so the stain can penetrate the wood. And then wipe off the excess. I think I might want mine a little bit darker, so in a few hours I'll come back and apply a second coat. When you achieve the color you like, let it dry. Then apply a couple coats of Minwax Fast Drying Polyurethane. You'll want to repeat this process with all of the pieces. When everything is done, you'll want to let it dry for at least 24 hours, which should give you just enough time to gather all the other pieces you'll need for this project. Let me show you. Now I thought it would be neat to add a shelf to the top of my door, so I went to my lumber yard and had them cut me a piece to fit, and then I stained it the same color so everything has a uniform appeal. I also thought it would be fun to add a little character to my entry piece, so I picked up these brackets and hooks at my local flea market. Now let's see how it all comes together. First, I secured the milk crates to the door with wood screws, then the brackets and shelf, and now I'm going to attach the hooks. Tip of the day, a power drill comes in mighty handy. Well, there you have it, an entry piece that's functional, practical, and looks amazing. And just think, it all started with a trip to the salvage yard. Well, thanks for watching. Now go create your own masterpiece, one that reflects your creativity and your personal style.